This is a Be Kind to Pets veterinary educational video brought to you by Tupayo Vet. I don't want to do it. The lady in her mid-60s had a small skin lump below her right eye canthus excised five years ago. Another appeared below the left eye canthus now. Dr. Singh advised early removal. The white-haired plastic surgeon at the Singapore General Hospital had not hung up his boots or scaffold in this case. First impressions can't. The eyes are the windows to the soul and if there are any distracting lumps, the windows ought to be cleaned. Fortunately for this golden retriever, her breeder consented to Dr. Singh's suggestion to remove her large facial lump. Dr. Singh was fascinating the breeder's puppies in 2005 and her defect affected her beauty. 15 years have passed by. Dr. Singh now recounts this story for all the Golden Retriever lovers out there. This was the Golden Retriever in question with a clearly observable lump on the side of its face. Now we will move on to the plastic surgery technique. Since the facial tumour is relatively large, little skin will be available to stitch such a large hole if a tumour this big is removed. The left eyelid or lip droops if the facial nerves are damaged during surgery. If the skin flap from the right side of the tumour is used to stitch up the defect, the upper lip turns inside out, exposing the gums. This is not a viable method. Eventually, the Y-plasty procedure was performed as it preserved the normal contours of the golden retriever's face. The nylon stitches are to be removed 14 days after surgery. The dog refused to get out of the canal on seeing the vet even though she had not seen him for 6 weeks. This is a note to all the breeders out there. Small facial tumours are much easier to remove. For more information, kindly call in to our clinic or drop us an email. Thank you for watching this video and we hope you've learned something today.